what would you rather be jack of all trades or master of one yeah. it's all every novel ravi khan tweet is is applicable across <laughs> these fields singhania saab cannot be a nice person if there are at least for three four unicorns in my portfolio i would love that this is like a black hole into happiness i don't think <laughs> यार तन्मे तू कितना कमाता है ओ दिस फील्स ओह वाओ स्ट्रेट गेटिंग टू इट हाँ दिस फील्स लाइक नॉस्टैल्जिक ना अभी एक साल हो गया हमारे सीरीज को इंडिया में तुम बताते नहीं हो कभी कितना कमा रहे हो यू डोंट ठीक है ओके बिकॉज़ या इंडिया में तुम बताते नहीं हो बट आई एम डूइंग वेल या आई कैन टेल यू दैट आई ह� um i've had a really good two years and most importantly i give myself credit for uh, for managing my money better you know i have a better question dude i think it's 11 o'clock and you're up talking you gave tour of this nice house and i met chat and everything how are you up at guys the tanma i know okay he gets up at 2 3 He's ready by evening, right? Like, and then he'll work and pass out till six, and then, and uh, like, yeah. is this now? It, how did it happen? Old days. <laughs> Those are old days. What happened? Then my three point oh. Um, I think like I should have done this a long time ago, which is start focusing on lifestyle, start making some definitive lifestyle changes. Uh, but I think into after two thousand nineteen, two thousand twenty, the first thing I wanted to fix was to find like. my place um work wise and as soon as that felt like okay i feel like i know what i'm doing and i feel a lot more comfortable as like it's time to cha- now change lifestyle yeah then i moved here bangalore i moved to i moved to bangalore you stayed in mumbai 20 years right more more than that my whole life i was in bombay wow. i'd never stayed out that's one of the reasons why i also wanted to move out because um geography has asymmetrical returns right change of geography mm. uh so i thought okay i'll let me try and make serendipity happen let me move to a different city and lifestyle changes was a by product of that for example i'm i stay right next to a park so i i was telling you before this that i now changed like all my meetings instead of doing it on zoom i'm like if you can come meet me in person we'll go for a walk right uh, there's a badminton court close by and you did what 11 kilometers yesterday i did 11 kilometers just yesterday. walking yeah I I was talking to my mom and I was like mom guess how many steps I did today she's like 4000 5000 I'm like 22000 ma I did 22000 steps and counting <laughs> and counting yeah um and then I go I go swimming so one by one I just start fixing small 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 things and then also it's about it truly is uh, it's true when people say that you're the product of the people you surround yourself with yeah so just the folks I hang out with now are all conscious about you know different different things so you get to learn a lot So all of these combined have made me start waking up early. <laughs> no, that totally makes sense. I hope my coffee also arrives now. Shakkar dal raha hai. Shakkar dal raha hai. Shakkar dal ki leke aayega. I actually have a paper over here. Okay, so content creator, filmmaker, business operator, gamer, streamer, creative consultant. We talk about Web three. Abhi kitne aur career karne hai aapko? रुकना इधर थोड़ी रुकूंगा अब तो और अब तो हेल्थ एंड फिटनेस भी शुरू करूंगा मैं फिटनेस इन्फ्लुएंसर बन जाऊंगा अभी तो ये इंटरेस्टिंग होगा आई थिंक यू आर ऑन दैट पाथ राइट ऑफ नॉट ये आई मीन आई एम ऑन द पाथ बट अभी मैं इफ आई लाइक द अदर डे पारस अ गुड फ्रेंड ऑफ माइन पारस ट्वीट अबाउट यू नो हाउ डू यू ईट व्हेन यू आर ट्रैवलिंग एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा सो आई पुट डाउन सम हे हियर आर सम लर्निंग्स दैट आई हैव हैड और उस पर पाँच रिप्लाई आ गए कि तेरे को क्या पता है हेल्थ के बारे में राइट सो अंटिल आई लूज ऑल द वेट आई कॉन्ट आई आई कॉन्ट एक्चुअली एक्सप्रेस एनी ओपिनियन बिकॉज पीपल भी बोला कि क्या कर रहा है तू काफ़ी आ गया था नो डूट बट ऑनेस्टली सॉरी ऑनेस्टली का चैनल वॉज ऑल्सो दिस राइट वॉट वुड तन वे नो अबाउट मनी या एग्जैक्टली एवरी वन वॉज लाइक वॉट वुड तन वे नो अबाउट मनी एंड डूट इट इट्स एक्सट्रीमली वेल आई थिंक एंड रियली वेल बट इफ यू अप्रोच एनी थिंग विद द स्टूडेंट लाइक एटीट्यूड एंड नॉट बी द वन टू टॉक अबाउट your own yeah if i just approach everything with like kaise chalta hai batao na mere ko and that that is i think what most people want um i th- if i just think that the internet shouldn't like if you truly are going to be a someone who's going to live on the internet yeah. it's just better off if you are most authentic with whoever you are talking to and just making reaction videos or vlogs or doing making jokes that's not fully who i am 
as most people discover once once they meet me it's not right like when i meet you you're talking about asymmetric returns you're talking about d2c brands you're talking about how can i actually make a marketplace you talk <laughs> about businesses you're like you dude you know vip does 2000 crores in revenue or whatever huh. i'm like the normal if I, when i talk to someone I'm like hey you know tanmay is really smart and they're like hmm i saw his reaction videos <laughs> and i'm like uh you know dude this is like that's not who tanmay is man like that's not only what tanmay is right but you know when i when i look at a lot of um like i and now angel invest also i i'm i consult with a lot of companies i am actively in, i am very interested in knowing how companies are built and this and that and i have varied interest one thing i've learned is that a lot of p- fundamental principles between content creation and other aspects of life yeah they're similar okay right like building habits for example building habits in making content like there's no reason why a youtuber who is consistent uploading can't apply the same frameworks that made him consistently upload into a business in, into a business or into fixing their health mm-hmm. uh into other aspects of their life because it requires research curiosity discipline consistency all those it's things, all the right? same yeah. it's all every novel ravi khan tweet is is <laughs> applicable across <laughs> these fields so it's like uh the applications are varied also i've realized that i love it when i meet someone who is in a, is has experience in one domain uh then has knowledge about another domain and there's always this moment of pattern matching yeah. which is oh this is like this thing yeah, yeah. right like that is always fun that's where that's where true progress happens right when your past experiences matches current knowledge yeah um those type of people are always fun yeah like it's like it's like learn app and trading right i constantly try to connect how we trying to run the company versus to, i'm like discipline important hai long term sochna hai you may be working every day slash trading every day but you should measure results only in quarters and not like daily correct uh, discipline and i think stuff like that right yeah i asked uh, recently i was at a i was at a get together with some friends and i asked them saying what would you rather be jack of all trades or master of one right or a master of a couple also um like there's no correct answer to this jack yeah. of all trades gets you uh, you know this wide wide knowledge so you get universal truths you get bits of universal truths across everything mm. but being super deep in one thing yeah. also tells you universal truths about life by being super deep so similarly like you are a master at trading that tells you a lot about life just by being a master at one thing right like you can apply it to anything else um yeah, yeah. makes you feel very weird when you say master trader it's not true but <laughs> i think i'm good at teaching but <laughs> but, but how how is like what happened so we did that series right and i think genuinely uh, like you were in, super interested in trading i think that's why that series did like sort of well uh what happened after that we had the 52 week high strategy there was intraday all that happened like what what happened over the last you tell me what happened what happened Dude, after you're that you're making profit man come on <laughs> just say it yeah uh See the the thing is that my friends all often ask me okay they'll be like that my tip day that my you tell me what you're doing yeah. but the fact of like you know me my real like how i manage my money is like is the safest most conservative i have an sip okay this is what i do which is okay i make x amount of money every month this is what i mark out for public market this is what goes into safer investment this is what goes into crypto i'm very this thing I'm I most of my energy is focused on how can I increase my income yeah. and how can I increase my odds of increasing my you income You're just surrounded by interesting people who are both of those things that you said right really wide and really deep uh so when you when you want to get into web3 you know all these people who are deep correct when you want to get into angel investing again deep then you talk to people who started bunch of companies wide and then i think you're surrounded by this interesting network of people this is the biggest upside of yeah. uh fame and distribution yes. the biggest upside is you get to meet the most interesting people none, none of none of the other stuff is as cool as, as you that. know as like i'm friends with nikhil for yeah. example yeah. right uh i get to i get to meet nikhil and pick his brain on whatever is whatever i want want to ask him um similarly i get to uh, ask about the movie business with some of the top folks so it's like this is the best part about movie everything. business i i i wonder who you're talking about <laughs> there's many coffee, there's coffee many <laughs> there's many I'm, i'm movie producer myself so technically i'm part of the movie business yeah that's true so okay so this is interesting right all these asset classes <clears throat> you invest in understand meet people 
But as a kid, let's go back, let's rewind. As a kid, <coughs> you told me you like detested money. कुछ तो ऐसा हुआ था कि dad का I think the job went went through a bad went through a bad period. You started detesting money. ऐसा ऐसा था क्या? Why did that happen? Because a lot of a lot of joys in life were not provided because of um, this cost too much money. So yeah. you start. There's either two ways you can go about it, which is one you start blaming your problems on money, or you're like I'm going to conquer this. this beast right i'm going to i'm never going to have money problems um this sounds like i had a very like difficult financial situation which is not true yeah. I, i like i was fine my parents provided really well for me um but yeah for the longest time i used to feel like paise ke piche kyu bhag raha hai pagal hai kya like who are these gross people who run behind money you this know this is bad yeah jail the billionaires i was one of one of one of those right like people who had a lot of money must be bad singhania saab cannot be a nice person right you know what i'm saying <laughs> like so that that's who i was um until you eventually realize that money buys you time and freedom that lets you do everything else and everybody everybody has their own journey to get to there why hate someone who makes who has money or knows how to make money so how that transition happens so as a kid you said i hate money and then at some point as a kid you realize ki okay i have to conquer this money should not be a problem when i grow up correct um it's not even as a kid actually i in my 30s i figured out that hey making money is not a bad thing oh interesting so aib wale time mein you still had that thought ki yaar mujhe main artist hu main artist hu yahi tha right main artist ko credit chahiye mujhe bas cool cool cheeze karni hai cool cheeze karni hai uh made awful financial decisions reinvested all my money into you like basic cash flow statements during the aib time kya itna aur itna kharcha hai six months ka itna kuch aisa hota tha kya for aib for aib not for me personally <laughs> cuz I, i used to look at like my money was aib's money right like everything uh, everything would keep going back into the company and not and most decisions were driven by the heart there wasn't as much balance of heart and brain yeah. a lot of decisions were based on just just does this feel right do you do you want to do this you know that kind of stuff um if is it okay if you blow another 10 lakhs on this sketch even though it's going to be a loss making video generally that kind of thing um what was amazing about aib i think you've heard this many times is that when you wanted to do those blow up videos right you call mm. them the blow up videos we just do this because this is fun i forgot who was involved i think alia was there bunch of other people yeah and they just did it like i was like dude did you pay them anything like what no 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 cost, bro it's like no 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 it was cool it we was were cool. cool and that's it no at that time the snl like culture was just about being formed hmm. so credit to everybody who did the videos with us that they also did it for fun only in fact you know a lot of like this artists are driven by this yaar yeah. artists are not they're driven by like is this going to be fun for me to do correct and in today's day and age is this, will this also make me look nice you know is mm. uh, will people hate me for doing this these are the sort of questions that um you know famous celebrity type people have um so at that point it was like yeah i also like i'll admit like i'm also careful about hey what would this make me look like but so, you used to write direct convince everything uh, right must tha par wo uh, writing was only so good the room was so good it was it was never it was never a convincing let's do it you just get, if you can get into a room and sell an idea how did that mm. happen walk me through na so you wrote something with the with the gang mm. and you went to one of the people you wanted to do a video with so, yeah like there was no pitching i'm sure like you're not the pitch so, kind of person uh, at all of course uh, that this pitching of i don't course, I, pitching. i don't make it look like i'm pitching ah. but you pitch acha so me and rohan used to write a lot of scripts for television ah. right okay. before aib so we were very used to coming with a first draft in a room full of 10 12 people and reading to them and that's the act of selling right like when you read to them you want to read it in a nice way me and ron have stand up background so we know how to work it's called we know how to we know how to work a room yeah. right so small things like uh like look writers are writing multiple scripts in parallel right so the person who is going to buy your script for whatever show that you're writing they need to truly feel like you're invested in it right okay so you just need to show a little bit of empathy in that room if if there's pushback you got to accept some pushback so for example we'll say this joke and we knew that this joke would they would not want to do this do this joke at all because you sensed it you sensed it and even be while you're writing it you truly know if this is going to go in or no okay theek okay. hai right as history of shows and you know um sure this they may produced. have or whatever huh? yeah so but we would still read it 
and when we would sense the room we'd be like yeah it's fine we get it we don't want anyone in trouble let's just take it out so when when they when you give and take there so is a like sense of trust that's developed saath mein bana rahe hain ye we're discussing yeah. it we're not being pitched we're doing yeah. it together i yeah. contributed exactly i'm willing to move some stuff around if you are willing to move some stuff around that first step is important oh this is like a nice strategy man it's like i know he won't accept it then i'll see it i'll be like it's out yeah <laughs> i love it so we would we would, we would the narration used to often be the thing and we would never narrate to a cold room okay. we would always have like first 5 minutes just catch up everyone's here for people let's not make it a trans it's so transactional you kharido yeah. you catch up you make some jokes you know let people think you're funny naturally then it's easier to it's easier to buy our jokes if we in yeah you just have a, the mahol light bana thoda otherwise like i have been on i have done one corporate show okay where it was a very it was a very prestigious event there were a ton of people in the audience and before we were called on stage they did like a very serious like in loving memory of some people that we lost this year yeah. and then i was introduced to come do stand up oh, wow. i'm like bro this is like the worst way to introduce anything light and fun at this moment right like what a what a bad way uh, what people do big these strategic mistakes all of them so selling is an is an art mm. you have to know how to sell um like sales is everywhere i was like i'll be walking to a park here okay um and i'll be with someone i'm in an intense conversation with them and someone just barges in and comes between me and say i'm talking to a founder Let's yeah. come between me and the founder and show their backs to the founder and start talking to me, put out their hand, touch me on my shoulder. This is bad sales, yeah. okay? But say I'm at a He's restaurant. Asking for a selfie, right? Asking, yeah, he wants wants a selfie, wants to engage, sure. okay? Um, at this point, obviously, he, this is bad sales. But let's take take an example where I was at a restaurant, okay? I was with me and two of my friends. I was having dinner and there was a guy who was opposite the table. You can sense when someone recognizes you. So he's looking they look at me. Twice. He looked twice. They're talking to their friends. There's a lot of this, <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, so I'm used to this. So you ignore it. But this usually the worst thing that you can do in this situation is come to the table, put your hand out in the middle of a conversation that you're having with Alex. Excuse me, just stop yeah. what you're doing. Yeah, just stop what you're doing. Forget the fact that you're with your friends. Maybe you're meeting them after ten years. Maybe you're having a very intense conversation. Maybe someone's dog died. Maybe something awful happened. Yeah. You don't know what happened, but you you don't insert yourself. This guy had a one of those LED apps, okay, which turns your phone screen into one of those LED screens. Okay, okay. And he wrote, "Hey, big fan here. Can I have a picture?" Ooh. And he just held it up. Oh wow! Okay, from his table, I could read everything very clearly. And I said, "Cool." After I'm done eating. Oh, that's okay. cool, man. It's great. I was done eating. I was leaving the restaurant. He and the whole table came, and of Acceptable. course, I spoke to them. I, I clicked pictures with them. I had a good time actually. I was like. I was so impressed with and you're talking about him on a podcast. <laughs> exactly. Sales, bro. Like he un- he understood he was a- empathetic towards my situation and that made me like him like him more. Um like this is a joke that I make with some friends, right? India mein bando ko sales nahi aata, isliye to arrange marriage hai. Kyunki tum khud ko bech nahi pa rahe ho, right? Like um so sales is like something that everyone should Like where's what's that quote right? Like I think it's a novel quote only. If you can build and if you can sell, then you're unstoppable. So I think a lot of people don't know how to sell. Um, people either hard sell or they sh- like short sell because they're not they're not able to convince you. Short sell. Uh, yeah, short. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so people ha- people hard sell a lot, which is which is the bad way of of doing, like of of uh, t- getting someone to buy getting someone to buy you. uh like the best salesmen are people who don't push too hard you know if you love someone let them let them go we <laughs> now people person type uh, i guess what you're going at he care but 2015 mein hmm. you were on the forbes list yeah it was a rich list yeah how did that feel and what the fuck that should tell you more about forbes <laughs> than anything else But you enjoyed it at that time. It, it was of fun course. of course it was great right of course because for my whole life i've been did told to put being... a net worth and stuff in it they have to right like yeah, they, they put list. they put something dude we were we were like two above rajnikanth or something like that okay <laughs> or two below rajnikanth or something like that oh which is insane yeah, like yeah, i was just like insane. there's just no way yeah. um but this like i i saw a list recently where they were put like average engagement of influencers okay okay and i'm just like you can't like uh, uh, how can you be factual like mathematically inaccurate 
when like one google search to social blade will tell you it's more not, about it's true or not true <laughs> yeah like how can you be this inaccurate about about these things but then whenever i see something like this my immediate thought is oh they're solving for their own distribution they're solving for their own solving for their own their thing. top this, of the funnel is you on their the top list. of the funnel <laughs> is is influencers and uh, celebrities right so or people with distribution so this stuff used to excite me even now like i have some friends who are journalists and they want to interview and they want to they want to do you know do something with you yeah, yeah. um my question always is that what's in it for me yeah. right like i want to do stuff with people who i super trust there is no real agenda yeah. here i get to be myself yeah. uh and i know that you're not like i am not going to be thrown under the bus the second your interests are, are in mind okay. uh and it gets a little it gets a little this thing like i mean zuckerberg is doing podcasts directly zuckerberg is in going to new york times mm-hmm. right people forget that like we know who the founder of facebook is but nobody knows who the founder of new york times is right yeah uh, which I is i read this somewhere dude yeah okay. yeah this, this is this is the, the general media versus yeah, tech yeah, yeah. um conversation but the thing about influencers is that influ- like because everything is a status related thing for for people in the public eye for people whose job is to is to you know make content that you often do, can't stop and think about this because your brain is cooperating into the system being featured on a magazine cover is a huge deal for you psychologically yeah even though actually it's they who are benefiting from it um but doesn't feel like the user doesn't feel like that the person on the list doesn't feel unless you probably saw this episode that's because we've all been cooperated into yeah. that is uh, i think kunal had said bada screen bada status mm. right being seen on mobile phone being seen on hoarding being seen in movies it's also like i think it's the coffee with karan thing right like i don't know if i can bring that in but yeah like, you can you can but like um i don't know kj so it doesn't matter and i'm i'm a nobody but basically going on coffee with karan would have had x number of viewers right yes. versus you just collabing with a friend influencer you would have got maybe 10x that or a much a, a much larger version of that right? uh, 10x is that, a bit of a stretch I think it 2x coffee or, is widely watched okay is it that widely watched it's very widely watched but then in my mind it's not only this, widely watched it's watched by paying subscribers acha <laughs> but the, but the, but the status of it is so high status right? is like, so high so it it it's amazing right like yeah. it doesn't matter how many people watch it at this point it's just that wait bada screen uh, bada screen who 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 else it's thermodynamics right if you're around other people who are incredibly hot then correct. some heat comes to you uh the coffee experience was really cool because um uh, so the some of the folks who produce the show they're they're you know their people have worked with the guys who work in television right yeah. for a long time Uh, and of course me and karan have have worked together and i have always enjoyed being around around karan okay because karan is one of those karan doesn't hide wisdom he's not one of those people if you ask him a question he shares hey here's what i've learned there you go so it's always fun to be around karan but also karan plays at a scale that's like unimaginable to us right like he's playing at that scale i mean dude you dressed up okay like <laughs> yeah, you were dressed up dude, i was like, i was, I was in delhi you were dressed up okay <laughs> yeah i was in delhi and i was around some other creator friends <laughs> and when when they text me saying hey this is the date you have to do it and everyone around me freaked out saying what are you going to wear which designer are you going <laughs> to this thing and i have never done any of this so then i started panicking and then i had to come to bombay so we found a designer so shout out to sahib from amare uh, who last moment he he got it done and i i was going from delhi to bombay then i was going to bangalore so the clothes had to do a as a trial and all you have to do for my size you have to do a trial or there's no fitting and the two tailors had to get involved bahut effort tha yaar bahut effort hai yaar this is not like you went to your closet to theek all that no this is my closet mein ye ye pen ko nahi jaunga na main coffee karan pe um but it, it was a good i i enjoyed dressing up how long was that entire i think the episode was an hour me and swati swati was like i was doing obviously i was sitting doing some work over there making some excel sheet some model i'm like hmm aise banenge sock road and swati is like hey, stop all of this abhi tan mein aa gaya yaar kuch suit pehna hai aa jao ha suit pehna maine i really cleaned up but you know i really like being in nice clothes i enjoy hmm. it i enjoy it then i saw the appeal in um you know when people say you know i have a stylist to pick out clothes for different occasions like like outside of the fact that a lot of people need to do this to keep looking good yeah. it's just nice to also wear nice clothes i've never worn nice clothes in my like i i don't my wardrobe is just t-shirt and track pant like that's mostly it you don't need to i guess but this is this is cool cuz no one's looking at me as hmm ye hai fashion icon <laughs> like so i guess i'm okay i'm inspired i am inspired Ali, come 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 alle sab chik alle tu ne khata come here come here <laughs> you, where you climbing from come here, come here. 
Bodacha. Yes. Yes. Sit. Sit. Come here. Sit. So ke ud gaya na abhi isko energy. Acha so raha tha abhi kya? Ah. Sorry. Guys. Sit. 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 Good boy. Wait. 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 This should be like the thumbnail only. Yeah. Acha koi podcast wise abe chat tha nahi tha na? You see the news. We have been joined by a special guest. Wait. You shake hand. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. हाथ देते ही स्टार्ट्स लिखिंग योर फेस क्योंकि सो यूज टू एस एन एज गिव्स दिस पॉ गिव मै ट्रीट एंड सो फॉर एग्जांपल एवरी डे आफ्टर आफ्टर लंच ही रन्स अराउंड द होल रूम लिखिंग एवरीवन सो मेंटली आई एम लाइक ओह ही सेइंग थैंक यू ही सेइंग सो स्वीट ही सेइंग थैंक यू ही जंप्ड ऑन मी लाइक दिस जंप्ड ऑन स्वाति लिफ्ट आवर एंटायर फेस आई लव इट बहुत अच्छा बहुत अच्छा प्रो लाइक हैविंग हैविंग लविंग डॉग हैविंग अ लविंग डॉग Good, good, good. Super chat, super chat. This is like a black hole into happiness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I get out of my room. I can't hear you, sir. <laughs> Chada, down, come, come. Go there, go to Swati, go to Swati, go, go, go. Hey. So Tanvay, coming back to the <laughs> topic. He, as soon as I get out of my room and I come to him, is a black hole of happiness because he doesn't give a fuck whether you're getting views or no. <laughs> He doesn't give a fuck whether a guest cancels on a podcast. He doesn't care if ETH is down to nine fifty dollars. He doesn't care. He's just like RBI rate hikes. Ko, who cares? He doesn't care. He's like, "Mere ko, mere ko treat de, or mere ko walk pe leke ja." Kya kar raha hai tu? Yeah, always entertaining. I tried uh, taking like uh, I, I realized that oh, if you're walking, then you want to you want your mind to be engaged because just walking is boring. So I was like, "Cool, I'll start taking chat around this area." Usually, he ventures close by to the house, and yeah. there's a park here. Yeah, yeah. Then I start taking him for longer walks outside, mm. and then I realize that it's too much. It's too many. It's too many distractions because there's too many dogs on the road, and because he's this. He's a friendly, lockdown baby. He's a lockdown baby, and he loves people. He loves interacting with everything. There's too many people he interacts with, and then I also forget that he's a famous dog also. Achara. So people stop by, they like from far, they yell chat, and like I'm just like, "Yeh nee chahiye, bhai." He should have his own account, his own Insta account. His own. But then, where will my engagement come from? Oh man, main, I have made it because I want my engagement, right? So chat content you'll only get on my profile <laughs> and Shankar's profile. How did you name him Chat? People said, or you thought it's an interesting name. Arey, I was streaming a lot back then. and i would see my other really adorable pet which is a live chat on stream so i said i'll give you guys options and there were a couple of couple of name options and chat being chat they pick chat and i was like oh it's a cute sounding name chat is a cute sounding name let's call him chat and then 3 weeks after that i was like oh this is a bad idea <laughs> i shouldn't have named him after chat and then it was too late he just then <laughs> he responded to chat and then we kept it Okay dude so tell me going back to your comedy career okay i think we'll keep this is like a nice branch we keep have this main and you go, go out it. and you come back sorry for that dog break <laughs> in the middle so uh coming back your comedy career started you started writing you started going for uh, stand up gigs how much were you earning back then because comedy wasn't a thing bro like you can't be mm. a comedian right i i used to write for television yeah. for a long time so i had i had enough savings for when i was whatever 22 23 I had savings for a few years at least for that point because television used to pay really well. Okay. Like I used to write story screenplay dialogues for a daily sitcom on Dis- on the Disney Channel. Oh, so consistent income tha fir to. Consistent income tha. Or me two sa ek dead saal do saal likha. Me kuch two so three so episode likha. Mm. And um, so I had I had savings. So the first year of stand up you get paid nothing. You get paid thousand bucks two thousand bucks for a show if it's a bar gig. Like if you made ten thousand bucks it was like a stellar gig. Then the comedy store opened. The comedy store was um, was a dedicated comedy venue, the first of its kind. There, for doing five shows over the weekend, you get paid thirty k, which is great, which is insane. But you do one weekend, five shows in one one week. It's exhausting. You do once in three months. Oh, right, okay, right. like it's so, like this blip, and then yeah, and then you won't come back because the other comics they all do the weekends. And this is who were the famous comics back then? Uh, that first generation was there was Anuvab Pal. Hmm. uh varun grover was varun grover me rohan ashish veer das was already like graduated veer was already veer veer was already a star uh, yeah veer was veer was already already papa cj is here. also graduated papa cj was also also graduated yeah. we were all we were all watching watching them and figure, figuring out the tricks of the trade 
Um, and I was working with Veer at that point. And when I was working with Veer, uh, Veer would get us these really cool opportunities like writing for Filmfare yeah. and, you know, these comedy writing gigs that only Veer could, Veer could make, make it happen, right? Like Veer was, Veer was really good at this stuff. So that used to pay... And he helped you a lot, right? Like he, yeah, yeah, yeah. he mentored like... Yeah, yeah, 100%. A lot of what I learned about being funny was because I was hanging out around Veer. Veer is incredibly versatile. Like he, Veer, Veer can do... Have you seen Veer do improv? He's phenomenal. He's a phenomenal improviser. Once we were at the Phoenix Mills and Ka- Kamla, uh, Kamla Mills, mein, there's this sto- uh, store there, right? Uh, Canvas Laugh tha wahan pe, hmm. mm-hmm. And wahan pe the, And there were these great comics, average comics coming. And suddenly they're like, we have this uh, guest over here. And then this guy Veer. walks in with a hat. Hmm. I'm like, is that Veer Das? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, hi, I was driving by. I have this new material. I want to yeah. check. And we were the guinea pigs and we were so happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was great. So Veer, Veer does these kind of things. He's, he has an insanely good work ethic. Yeah. Like a lot of comics, uh, you'll hear that once they become super big, they have other writers and that kind of stuff, which is also fine. Like everybody chooses their own way of, you know, keep, keeping the machine going. Veer was, Veer, Veer, I remember, Veer will still wake up today and spend three hours and bang out 50 jokes. Like, Veer is very capable of doing wow. that and he still does. So he's the most like hardworking um, comic that I'd, you know, since then. And he's representing us abroad, dude. Like, yeah. he's, like, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Um, and good, good, great for him. I'm happy that he's crushing it. Dude, I don't know what you started with, but you started doing streaming to kids. Okay. I started, I, hey. I started streaming <laughs> games and kids happen to play games. Right. So you started streaming for kids makes it sound really wrong. Oh, okay. Is, no, I didn't mean. <laughs> like, no, I started streaming games because the peak of when I was on meds, I used to play PUBG for like six hours a day. It was insane. And then I discovered these streamers. I discovered, you know, Mortal Scout, all these guys who were crushing the gaming thing. And then I realized that, hey, I think I could stream because this feels like being on stage and improvising your way through an hour. I've done that for many years of my yeah, life. Yeah. Why can't I stream? So I had I had my own YouTube channel where I'd put up, like if you see on my YouTube channel, the first video was uploaded some 13 years ago or something stupid like that. My college ke festival ka reel I edit karke ek show reel dala tha. That was like the only video on it. Yeah. Then I just started slowly testing. How, I didn't know how to stream. So I started learning OBS. I started figuring out. So the first few streams, which I've now privated, were just me testing OBS. Chal rahe kya? Audio aa rahe kya? Yeah, hello, 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 <laughs> hello. Uh, and there's an echo. At that point, like going live was like, you just press it. And usually how you go live now, you start streaming, yeah. then YouTube ke dashboard pe go live aayega. Hmm. Us time mera setting aisa tha ki main start streaming nahi aur live aadara. Acha, okay. Ek, ek, kabhi bhi live ja sata hai. If I start recording, it would just start, start streaming. Aisa tha. So a lot of streams where I'm just sitting, eating a wada pao, just looking at the computer, doing nothing. It, there's a two, two hours of just nobody in the room. The stream is still on. <laughs> but that time there were like 50 viewers. There was nobody watching. But what were you streaming? I started streaming games. I began by streaming games. Um, I started with PUBG. Like if you did like a big boss in your house, I think, and just mute all conversation, I think people would watch that also. Like, I think, like it's very entertaining this house because there's a dog now, yeah. and the dog is always. And you're doing walking, stuff. meeting people, people taking selfies. This house is very entertaining. Okay, so I'll walk out of the room, and Shankar will be sitting on the couch with chat. Okay, yeah. chat is also chat is always on the couch, and Shankar is sitting next to him, and he's having a full fledged conversation with chat. Okay, like, मैंने क्या क्या बताया था उस दिन तुम्हें? And in, in, in the Bombay house, we used to have Didi, okay? So Didi used to sit and cut vegetables and chat would sit around Didi in the afternoon for two hours. There was a slot. And Didi would be saying things like, you the bindi cut rahi hai, aur chat ek haath maar ke ek bindi ka piece le lega. Didi, aise karega to kaun shadi karega to mahi saan? Kaun shadi karega batao? Chat and is sitting there. Minute, and you're standing there watching this. I'm watching this. I'm like, <laughs> kya hota hai is ghar pe yaar? They're discussing Chad's marriage. Anyway, so I started streaming games. Um, and because of AIB and all the stuff that I'd done, I was very lucky that a lot of other content creators knew me personally. But did you think that, okay, I'll stream, I'll do so much market size, I'll do so much, I'll do so much, I'll do so much, none of that shit, right? No, no, no. You were just like, this is cool? I was just like, I'm playing 6 hours, I might as well make it productive. I'll stream it. Let's see if I, if awesome. I get. Um, then once I realized that, oh, people like this, I started getting, you know, 1,000 live watching, um, then I got some editors and I was like, okay, now I know the game. Streaming is community building, mm. videos is growth. So I was like, cool. 
I know the strategy. Uh, I know how acquisition retention. Yeah, like streaming is community and love, and videos is growth. Because the algorithm works that way; it recommends more videos, right? So then I just went ham for like six, eight months, ten months after I started streaming. I was uploading six videos a week, bro. And how many people were saying that dude, you're doing what? Nobody knew only. Nobody, nobody knew. Nobody knew. Because it was in a, I was just so left of field. Oh, wow. Where everyone was like gaming, and I said, okay. This was pre-pandemic, so mm-hmm. streaming was like at that point it was like, oh, it's a, it's a thing. But when the pandemic rolled around, like all of my peers were streaming. By the pandemic. In fact, Samay was a really good friend of mine. Usko to pandemic lockdown ke char din pehle main usko bola ki sun lockdown aane wala hai. You buy yourself a laptop now. Haan. Just trust me, you will end up streaming. Just trust me on this. And then he did, and now he's one of the world's biggest streamers. And I was I was streaming before it was cool. Okay. <laughs> uh, and a lot of these boys were streaming way before. So I started streaming, and I just started uploading consistently. Then one day Modi ji was giving a speech at 8 p.m. And I said, um, "Why should I only stream games? I can stream anything, right? Like the the core idea here is entertaining person on top of something that everybody is interested in seeing. Like, why does gaming work? Yeah, right. Why does it work? Because it's like tuning into a football game. Okay, football is also a game. So you put on the TV and you see there's a score line zero one. You now have full context to this game. Correct. Right. Seventy five minutes zero one. Oh, this team needs to get another goal to equalize." You have full. Co- That's exactly how games work, right? If you open PUBG, it's like twenty-five alive. One person's running with a gun. So like, okay. cool. This person. Has- This is why gaming works. It's one of the problems with um, with Clubhouse, right? When you join a Clubhouse room, there's no, no context, context yeah, of what's happening. You're dropping into this conversation in the middle of a party, and four people are talking about. And then you know what happened? I'm yeah, like, exactly. No, you have I, no I, context. I, 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 But with games, you have immediate context. Yeah, I think Twitter right. Spaces is like that too. Twitter okay. Spaces is like that also. I mean, but yeah. you don't know what's happening. Yeah. So that is why, like now, imagine that you have you're watching a game and there is context, and on top of that, I as a streamer and wanting to entertain, I add more context. Yeah. So I'll be like face reveal of my Discord admin, right? Which is oh, if I win this, if I win this round, किसी का face reveal होगा, or dancing to Kacha Badam if I lose. You always do this, right? I'll do Superman dance in the end. I'll do this. I'll do X if I lose. Just raise the stakes. And then right. people will watch it in the end. People will watch it in the end. Thing. Yeah, because something is going to happen in the how end. How many people tune into your? I should know this, but how many people tune into your streams? Depends on what I'm streaming. Yeah. Like if I if I today if I I think if I stream a reaction video, which is my Pakistani chats, if I make a PPT and just stream that, I think I'll cross 100k live watching. And people don't know when you'll stream. You'll just stream. I just stream. I mean, I mean, I know when I'll stream. It'll be 9 p.m. in the night. Okay. Traffic is maximum at 9 p.m. in the night. Uh, so if I stream, I think I think I can clock 100k watching. The most I've clocked is on the day. No, the most I've clocked is while streaming Omegle, where I was just talking to random people on Omegle. Well, that's interesting. I clocked uh, 82,000 live. Um, 82,000. 82,000 live. And now when I upload a video, so there's a cool feature on YouTube. It's called YouTube Premiere. Okay. Yeah. If you premiere, you premiere a video, Correct. and there's a live watching. People can talk to each other while they're watching the video. I love. I watch every premiere of my video. 8 oh. p.m. I'm like, guy, whatever. If I'm on a call, guys, I'm gone for 10 minutes, because you want to see what they're talking about. Not just what they're they're usually talking a lot of garbage. Okay, <laughs> they're, they're all this thing. Two things I like to watch. I like to watch what the live watching is on this video by the end of the premiere, because hmm. that's an indication of CTR. Hmm. Okay. Because my best videos, they have forty thousand plus concurrent watching in the fifteen minute time frame that it's yeah. that it's playing. The three, the absolute best videos cross fifty k live watching when it's premiering. The bad videos are under forty k or under thirty k. That's when you know that its ka CTR is low. Hai. It's a premiere or a usi pe low chal raha hai. Mm. So this video nahi padne wala. Second thing I like to keep keep an eye out is when the chat is going on, and what is reaction videos? It's hey a funny a funny reel or a funny meme. On top of that, five, five comedians trying to get the top comment on that reel. Right? Oh, this is, so it's a it's another game. It's a game. It's another game. It's a game. Because what do you see when you see a funny funny reel? Love. You go to the comment section. Yeah, correct. Kya bolen, what are people saying? What are the top comments on this? And top five comments are hilarious, yeah. right? So this is the this was what I keep telling these guys. But the guys. difference here is that it's concurrent and it's together. It's it's and together. it's someone you know, someone you relate someone, to. And someone someone you know, someone you relate to, and with five different. Types of people, right? Like I don't know if you've seen them recently, but there's there's a new comedian called Kullu hmm. who now Kullu is from Bhopal. Okay. Okay. Me and Rohan are Bombay kids, hmm. 
right so to have someone so his perspective is ekdam alag ekdam alag his sense of humor is different and he's he's so likable is very lovable okay so he is so different from you know from rohan that that's an interesting dynamics yeah, yeah and then there's vishal dayama who says just like to ekdam dry humor hai uska he barely talks very straight caustic face very straight face and he says like he's brutal so that's also another thing and there is me which is i am the loud boisterous i keep the energy going my job is to i am the you know orchestra ka conductor jo hota hai na i am that like i am keeping an eye on the overall is this is the vibe good um and i am there to engage chat cuz 600 700 000 people are sometimes watching the members only stream and a lot of people want to contribute right and there's some if a thousand people are trying to make jokes they're yeah. going to beat the five people who are trying to make jokes right because there's a thousand brains to it do you get so, ideas on it while you're actually streaming or yes of course bula, of course yeah so i always say kisne bola hai and they get validated they feel like wow my joke made it to and i'm part thing. of the arena i'm yeah. not just a spectator tum meme dekh rahe ho aur tum bol rahe ho ki is pe sabse funny comment kya aa sakta tum ek ghanta sochoge that's an hour of creative work it's exhausting so i can already it's the stream chal raha tha by minute 50 I'm like, अच्छा energy down होने लग जाएगा अभी चलो last तीन मी में guys we're going to finish this don't worry so it's down to like a process now and then you did ten videos last month you were you were telling yeah me. I did ten videos last which is month. like a lot which is a lot is this going to increase or decrease like what's going to how do you throttle throttle in throttle out content right like this is tough so this is the game right which is how do you innovate such that you still continue to be fresh yeah while also giving people what they want right so it has to be so i this is a spikes and waves analogy that i have which is that every now and then you want to do something that's like na kuch kuch na kuch alag ho gaya is baar like ye to cool hi ho gaya you know ye to maza hi aa gaya like um like i remember when i was doing uh, pitai reviews okay i don't know you won't know what a pitai review is i'll explain why will i not know what a pitai review is i i don't know cuz you are not my demographic okay <laughs> uh pitai review is where there are there's a genre on youtube where all these kids they pull pranks on their parents okay parents find out aur aake pitai karte bachcho ki theek hai so i would just watch these videos with comedians no and the kids are taping this the kids are taping this wow so you, kids. there is a guarantee payoff huh. which is pitai right, right. okay so 10 minute ka video hoga you watch the whole thing aur end mein pitai hoti hai theek hai so i started watching these during the pandemic and they're so funny they started doing really well then i was like okay what is the next thing that i can i can find so if my youtube channel was a tv channel yeah this is one show ya aata hai sham ke 7:30 baje is ravivar ko theek hai so apne agla programming kya hai and then something something happened i discovered these uber chats that happened and then i did one episode on that poof fat gaya then i was like okay now this is this is the second show second show that i can keep running so i'm always on the lookout for what's the next show what is the next thing that is basically that? what you're interested in right it's always around this like this center of you is like mere ko ye pasand hai i like this i'm going to create something around it mm. and if it's naturally i find it naturally interesting the people will find it interesting if everybody in the room responds to it it's most likely the audience will respond that's your mvp and then that's, that's my MVP. if I, yeah if 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 the room responds to it jab record karte ho tab pata chal jata hai yaar ki aaj ka sahi hai mm. like you just know you, like you can't lie to yourself yeah So I recently tried um, reacting to horror, horror videos, right? Horror videos. Yeah, like really scary, scary videos, jump scares. Okay. Okay. Five comedians who are all fatus. Sabki gaan fatti thi. Raat ke do baje humne record kiya, and we're watching, and polarizing response. Okay. Can you guess what would have happened to this video? So there's a section of audience who loves it. Okay. Because horror comedy is like constant stimulation to your brain, right? Yeah. Darbi lag raha hai, fir hasi bhi aari hai. Like it's non-stop. That's great, but I didn't foresee that the retention on this average retention on this video plummeted. Because many people got bored. They were working against you. They were working against you. Oh shit, man! Right? So its click-through rate is very high, which is everybody wanted to kill. Like, everyone thinks that they can watch horror. They get bored and they leave. So the average view duration on this is really low. So I went like shit. This series is gone. So I hit three times and it didn't work. So I was like, okay, what's the, what's the next? What's the next thing that I can try? और ये ऐसा नहीं है कि दिस ये आउट है बिकॉज ऑफ लाइक ये तो इट्स लाइक मैथमेटिकल राइट व्यू ड्यूरेशन ऑन हॉरर वीडियोस विल ऑलवेज बी लो क्योंकि फट रही लोगों की इट विल ऑलवेज बी फॉर ए टाइप ऑफ ए नीश दे रियली लव इट इज दैट वर्थ परस्यूइंग आई डोंट नो मे बी आई माइट डू अनदर वीडियो एंड सी पिटाई पिटाई वीडियो पिटाई रिव्यू यूनिवर्सल एक्सेप्टेंस एवरीबडी लाइक सेइंग चिल्ड्रन गेट बी हाईली रिलेटेबल हाईली रिलेटेबल होल कंट्री लव्स इट सो पिटाई रिव्यू विल गो ऑन Look, topicality beats everything, right? Okay. If something happened and you talk about it immediately, you're probably going to get 
probably going to get views, right? This is how this is the news news channel industry is relevant. Lagging. Search results, people searching for it. People news channel, share news it. channel, क्या? News channel is nothing but re- reacting to news ही है ना? News channel भी तो. Oh, interesting. वो ही क्या है? तो art pan, art panelists को बिठाते हो. React करो. React करो. हाँ, सही बोल रहा है. अच्छा reaction क्यों नहीं दे रहे हो? Hey, hey, Pakistani general, तेरे को लाया मैं काय के लिए. सही बोल रहा है. React कर अच्छा. So it's that only. Except their reaction is not funny. It's dramatic. Yeah. yeah. Um, so topicality always works. So for example, if in one week, okay, इस महीने का मैं इस हफ्ते का मैं मीम रिएक्शन करता हूं अब मीम्स किस पे बनेंगे जो टॉपिकल है ठीक हाँ. है तो वो मीम अगर एपिसोड में है तो बन गया टाइटल मस्त या सो द वीडियोस ऑटोमेटिकली बिकम रेलेवेंट बिकॉज आई एम रिएक्टिंग टू स्टफ दैट्स टॉपिकल अभी अभी क्या चल रहा है अभी तो देखो आई सी ट्विटर आई सी इलॉन कुछ अभी कुछ क्रिप्टो एक्सचेंजेस के साथ ही कुछ इंटरेस्टिंग स्टफ हुआ है वर्ल्ड कप चल रहा है वर्ल्ड कप चल रहा है वर्ल्ड कप चल रहा है सो द लास्ट कपल ऑफ वीडियोज दिस वन वीडियो दैट आई पुट अप This T20 World Cup review, number one in my last ten videos. It's oh. debuted at number one. Mm. Did really well. Um, Virat, Virat is super hot right now. Correct. I'm going to upload a video today with Surya Kumar Yadav in the title because uh, Surya Kumar Yadav just crushed it. So I just know now only that oh, this is going to crush because there's like five memes about Surya Kumar Yadav. So I'm like, this is going to crush today. This is just you. This is a bunch of friends also reacting to it. Yeah, yeah. This is same format. The OG gang, we call Dude, it. Dude, you're on. St- Star Sports. I'm on Star Sports. I can't believe this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you and your bunch of friends. So match khatam hota hai. Haan. ठीक है. हाँ. Match khatam होते होते मेरा शो आ रहा है. रात के दस बजे. I can't believe it, Ryan. How many people watch this? Do you know? Must be millions. So no main. big deal. <laughs> no biggie. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's cool that it's on. It's on. It's Star damn Sports. cool. Yeah, and it's uh, it's very fun, yeah, because cricket is like. There's like it's it keeps the conversation going. कि आज match खत्म हो गया, फिर हम social media पे तो देख ही रहे हैं ना सूर्य कुमार यादव के memes ये तो देख ही रहे हैं. हाँ. And तो तो why won't they watch it on on TV as well? Because it's it's really fun content. Yeah, it makes sense. This is good. This transition is happening. You see, this is beautiful. Bro, I did it's react happened. reacting to finance memes also on on. How did that go? Really well. <laughs> Crash one of the best performing videos on honestly. Crushed. Way more people saw it than our trading series. Oh, dude, please. It's that is mil- not true. It's had a million <laughs> views reacting to finance content. Then I did an episode where I reacted to philosophy content. Fear mm. of philosophy memes. That I can react good. to fitness memes. That would be interesting. Have you done that? <coughs> I have. I already did one episode. Did really well. It's had 150k views. The thing is, memes are just how people learn now. It's just constantly on your phone. You're constantly seeing. But you know what's interesting? So. I've always seen this, right? You told we were talking about this last e- last year when we were in the hotel, right? When we were recording, and I think you said people think I'll make a video and I'll get a sponsor, and that's how I make money. That's not true. That's not how acting works. That's not how singing works. You don't make money from the main content, not necessarily. I mean, you not from, from not from the uh, around it, right? Uh, what talk about that a little bit, right? You you may not make money from a video that you upload. You're not even doing it for that, right? But um, no, no, no. Correct. You're attracting audiences. You're engaging them. Yeah, yeah. So, for example, like this is uh, what I was going for here was that if you look at Virat Kohli net worth, yeah, uh, match fee and BCCI fee is way lower than exactly. than branded fee. Exactly. Right. Uh, so it's like similar for Bollywood as, as well. Yeah. What actors make for a movie is dwarfed in comparison to what they would make from the roster of brands. Not Akshay right? Kumar though, but I get what you're saying. Yeah, Akshay Kumar. I mean, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how well Ram Sethu did, so I can't comment. <laughs> I haven't kept up with the box office. But yeah, you make money from from around. Even it. singers, right? Like you listen to streams all the time. The publishers make the money, but singers live are shows. also live yeah, shows. Live shows are where the games at. Exactly. Right. Um, so the game is the same, which is create a very strong brand. Yeah. That's where that's your main game. Community. That's your main gig, which yeah. is create a strong brand, have people have people resonate with your brand. Then ways to monetize will come around you. So the game is like for me, um, like I like to think of it as I think distri- having a distribution is the superpower. Hmm. Ways to monetize it, they'll always be around. Joe Rogan is a great example, right? Ten yeah. years, same podcast, and then um, and he d- he actually didn't even monetize it with brands, right? Joe was completely clean. Yeah. He never did any sponsorship, and then boom, one day Spotify deal, right? And super, super long, super deep. Like I mean, if you say podcast, like I mean, it's joke. Yeah, it's insane. Like he does four-hour podcasts, and 
and he had weed with some interesting people live yeah. that did really well like lex friedman is a great example lex friedman is, lex and friedman. i remember seeing the first few episodes of lex and be like dude who's going to be interested in ai and stuff but oh my goodness he was Once so AI. consistent right so consistent then you and lex asked what everyone's yeah, thing yeah. it's very simple energy is really nice truly a like lex will if if i was a massive conference I would pay Lex like two hundred thousand dollars. Have you to, met him? Have you spoken a, to him? I have never spoken. If to you him. had to reach out to a guy like Lex, I have this question, right? I'm like, look, that man knows everyone, right? He can talk to anyone. If you had to reach out to Lex, like, would you, would you DM him or would you ask someone? Like, how do you do that? Lex uh, is an example. Like I have I, I have access to Lex, like ah. if, if, I, if I wanted to. Um, That's the power of network, right? You're one degree separation away, max. Yeah, yeah. I have uh, uh, I have I have friends who who know him. Barack Obama is not that far away. From <laughs> really Barack Obama is very far away, <laughs> <laughs> very very far away. Um, but I've I've been around for a long time, right? Like I've I've known people in the industry for the last whatever decade or more more than that now. So you you'll know I know if if I had to get access to him. But I will never abuse that access. Like I'm never going to send an email to Lex saying, yeah, "Sir, yeah. big fan, can I come on podcast?" Like that's not <laughs> one selfie, please. <laughs> one selfie. Yeah, never, never going to do that. Yeah, exactly. His time is valuable. Like, uh, would I do something? Do unto others what you would have them do to you. Gyan. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> this is nice. This is fun. I feel we had this conversation last year. You telling about all these things, but now it's. Have you ever spoken about this in a podcast? Lot of this stuff is all new. Uh, That's cool. I don't. I don't do only that many podcasts, and like I don't. I don't unless it's like that's why I already told you this. I don't do that many podcasts, you know, because it's just like बहुत है करने को life है यार कर करना है तो podcast मैं भी करता हूँ तो सब साथ में share करते करने it's like we'll we'll I also do I also do I'm setting up my terrace now. Um, I have a couple access of, to the terrace. Is it your terrace? It is the like there's a portion of the terrace that's that's this for house. for this house, uh-huh. so I'm now setting it up and I'm going to make a, a a recordable thing there, and I'm also in the space where I can't work alone. Okay, I hate working alone, which is why, like Raven Raven edits from here. Like I always have folks who I can, like Kullu is dropping by for ten days now. There's a guest room here, so Ooh, people right. can keep coming. So I'm now in the process of. maybe it's time to have a writers room for all the different different ideas that i have uh and that's going up in the terrace that'll probably be on the terrace along with the shooting space there so only if there's a good idea you can come down at the upper hero oop i just want to be in a room where there are other creative people and we're all always doing something or the other 0 uh, to 1 is the most fun and if you can be 0 to 1 in like Ten things, yeah. right? Then you then you cannot be bored. You just like I'm always doing. Yeah, yeah. boredom is like one to ten because you're like scaling. Scaling is about repetition, consistency, SOPs. Yeah, but it's, it's so useful. Huh. Like, अच्छी चीज़ बोलो please अभी. It like scaling is if you can if you can go zero to one and scale, fuck your aunt, your king, right? Like I I've been wanting to do a show about. Like I'm losing weight now. Can I, can I do? Can I, can I make some content out of it? But I was like, look, if I truly want to lose weight, yeah, it is the most boring content because you're doing the same thing every day, and you don't have to fuck around with the routine, right? Yeah. You like habit stacking is a good tweet, but it's very boring to visual. actually do, yeah. Because it's not it's, interesting, right? It's not interesting. Yeah, it's exactly. it's it's like uh, like Sati used to say. Like, imagine watching a movie about a painter. Would you want to watch ten minutes the of someone painting? Movie. I'm crazy. Uh, yeah, you don't want to watch people write. You don't want to watch people paint. Like that's awful. But that's where like all geniuses, not geniuses, but like that's where genius comes from, right? Like just beating at your craft over a really long period of yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So people write scripts. Always write, and then we see Rahul sat and pondered. I'm like, this is not cinematic. <laughs> It's not watching Someone's someone ponder block. is like. Watching someone ponder is not fun to watch. So really, watching someone lose weight. Um, if we, if I, if I shot just me walking, like it has to be filled with challenges. It has to be, okay, what's what's the, what's the thing that happens in this? And I'm scared of doing that because what if that wrecks my routine? Like you can't you can't let that fuck around. Um, and challenges are often extreme, right? And then there's the messaging of. Like, do you want to do something extreme to lose weight? Is that the message you want to put out? I don't think people should do that. No, but it's, it's also good for you, right? Like, I've seen you off camera. Like, you're on your phone a lot. You're checking what's happening. Like, there's so much happening in your life, right? So, I imagine like when you're at least swimming or walking or working out, dude, you're away from the phone. I, yeah. I hope you don't take your phone to inside in the, the pool, swimming pool. Right? I do sometimes. What? what? <laughs> no, no, no. But only to shoot. 
uh shutting lights off early has mm. helped mm. um now push comes to shove i will just try my get my ass into bed by 11 11:30 i'm just like whatever happens and what time are you getting up 8 8:30 this is amazing man so this is like I mean, eight, it. 8 8:30 is like really late i should want to put it's better it's, than 2 right i mean better than 2 um so getting getting in early and I'm, i'm trying a weighted blanket have you ever tried a weighted blanket uh, is a weighted blanket so i read i read a thing about um And I had to think about your deep sleep goes up if you use a weighted blanket. Like I, I was following like this guy. Like a heavy blanket. It's a heavy, it's a it's a twelve kg blanket. A twelve kg. A blanket is twelve so kg. You feel like cocooned. You feel you feel cocooned. Cocooned. You feel cocooned. Uh, so I've been trying that, and you I've have been it using, here. Yeah, I will go. I'll go check. Yeah, it. I have it here. I have it here. You can sleep on my bed and see here and everything. So I've started using the weighted blanket, which makes me go to go to sleep quicker. Because there's like a mild pressure on you, right? So jump, so jump, so jump. It's like a small thing on you, so that has really helped. ये भी vlog content लग रहा है मेरे को ना. क्या bladed blanket? नहीं नहीं. And I I keep the curtains open opposite my bed, so I hit natural sunlight in the morning. Um, as soon as I wake up, I have to, I, my left eye is weaker than my right eye. Yeah. So if you see my room, you should take a shot of my shot. On top of my bed, there's an eye chart. Okay. So every day when I wake up, I saw that. And yeah. you read whether you can. I I just stand in front of my bed. and i quickly there are some exercises that i've been told to do so i do that uh then i grab coffee i come here and i sit and have have coffee as often as i can i play with dog uh now habit stacking next thing i want to add is to get a 30 minute walk in as soon as i wake up like that'll be great we just go to the go to the park and i know this guy who does iron man uh the 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 run right yeah. and he says the way i get i get up in the morning and without even rubbing my eyelids like i'm up like just go bed. running no he just starts doing that uh, the plank, plank. Yeah. He pl- I'm like you plank in the morning I need to go take a shit in the morning like how do you plank? And dude, he planks for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I'm like dude that's okay that's why you're iron man. And yeah. then we'll go for a run. The universe is insane. Hmm. So so tell me about now investing. Let's talk about Moola again. So equity investing kaisa chal raha hai? Trading kar rahe ho. So I know we are but, but. <laughs> uh I'm not an active trader. This you also know. Yeah. Uh I'm bro sahi sahi chal raha hai matlab but since the time we met it's not been that long also yeah. i i'm not that active on it man like i said before hey like sip chalta hai mera badhiya chal raha hai my only job is that i just make sure that all the funds that zeroda keeps returning every month <laughs> i just keep topping it out so my sips at least continue yeah um badhiya chal raha hai aapne jo sikhaya aapne jo system banane ko sikhaya It's, I think that system is also doing. He's doing. It's doing really decently. By the way, if you guys haven't seen it, you should go check it out. Of the playlist link in description. We actually learned. Pratik taught me how to come up with a trading system that you can do for yourself. Also, that's doing really well. Thank that's you very much. Cool. But I think what's cooler is that uh, angel investing, right? I think you're investing so many startups, and it's really don't cool. make it seem like I'm. It is Kunal lot. Shah. I think. See, see, <laughs> I think right. Just being tan me, right? I think you can get like the best deals. Uh, if he really wanted to, uh, and, and I don't know, touch wood, boy. Uh, <laughs> Which is lucky. really cool, right? Like people like want to be associated with you. Yeah, that's cool. I I would like to believe it's because I have something. Friends, actually, most of them are your friends. Actually, most of them you know. So the well. I'll tell you what's happened. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I I invested. I angel invested a bunch when I was yeah in a lot of like folks who like I, let's talk about the small case guys, right? Like um, Vasanthan Anugra. They when I was in the process of learning about. money and i started making content and as soon as i was put in touch with them i just did zoom calls with anugra at like 1 am for 3 months yeah okay and i just learned so much about how how this world works um like he taught me how what a cdsl is like <laughs> how a demand account works you know he taught me everything yeah um to a point where i just really liked them as people yeah right so i never angel invested from a Because I'm, I'm putting small checks, right? Yeah, that's they're, not, they're not massive checks. It's yeah. not going to change my life in any way, uh, you know, uh, unless it's like a f- to 200x return. Like that, that's significant. 
बट देर स्मॉल चेक सो आई ओनली ट्राई टू इन्वेस्ट इन फोक्स आई फील लाइक इसमें मजा आया इसके साथ लाइक दिस पर्सन लाइक दीज ऑल फ्रेंड्स यू नो एंड यू लाइक द प्रोडक्ट यू लाइक मे बी दू लाइक दीपल इट्स इंटरेस्टिंग इट टेक रियली टेक्स लाइक इट टेक्स टू गुड कॉन्वर्जेशन विद सम फॉर यू टू बी लाइक आई एम हैप्पी टू इन्वेस्ट but this is a problem now because i now go for walks with found. earlier it was to be a 20 minute phone call right yeah, yeah. where the person found comes they do a presentation right and you see and you have some questions about the market yeah ignore that <laughs> uh then you have some this is bangalore electricity keeps coming in and that's going that's electricity that's the that's the machine that takes care of the or oh, the stabilizer yeah um anyway so you talk to a founder at 20 minutes and you go through the deck and you have some questions about the business and i have all these dumb questions ki tu ye kaisa karega and then whatever then you your judgment is all on like okay do i th- what do i think about the market is this the market is going to go up for the next 20 years how do i feel all for like 3000 dollar check okay itna soch ke and then um now i start doing walks with founders so then i spend in 60 to 90 minutes that's better right it's way better yeah. but the problem is that if you spend 90 minutes with someone and you go deep into their life where did you grow up how did you study then they, they had this oh, time yeah. to share anecdotes the time to share stuff about your life at the end of 90 minutes I, it's just hard to say no anymore yeah, it's, bro cuz you just like this is their hack bro <laughs> yeah it's cuz you like hack. them so much you're like bro mere paas paisa nahi hai aur invest karne ko par main figure out karunga kaise to nikalunga main to bahut gir gaya mera uh but that's the new problem which is if you spend too long also you're just too invested in their journey now so if i if i like if i like someone i think what's really cool is that there's now so many diverse people that i'm now connected to that i think you can just bring two people together and just create new companies now hey meet these guys not no not, not new companies necessarily but one of the reasons why like the terrace is happening now is because yeah. i want to have these like because there's so many different worlds of coffee people with that, ta- coffee with tanmay the cof- no, podcast to karenge hum but it'll be nice to do mixers with mm-hmm. founders from different backgrounds because mm-hmm. that's always fun ki isko ye chamka da aur this is useful to this person and that's that's always nice that's always nice to see I mean, I like to think that we'll probably be working for another what forty, fifty years. Like, utna mere ko kam nahi karna. Nee, nee. Think. I mean, you will not sit and do nothing, right? You'll do something. Something or the other. It yeah. may not be for money or whatever. You'll do. You'll be doing something. You'll like. You'll have an active life still. You'll be. The mind will run. Your body will run. You'll be doing something. Fifty years is a lot. It's a, exactly. So I think know. about it. Life is prolonging. Pachas saal. This is like this is like, this is like a Nitin Kamath tweet, right? Like when Nitin is like, you know, everybody thinks they're going to retire at yeah. X age. <laughs> what are you going to do for the next twenty-five years? What if you live till eighty-five? I was like, wow, Nitin, you. Uh, Like all of a sudden you made uh, such a morbid, <laughs> such a morbid <laughs> thing to say. कि तू जिंदा रहेगा तो क्या करेगा? I'm like ये क्या है? Like no, but imagine all these relationships over those fifty years, right? Like dude, founders don't quit. No one's gonna like they're just gonna start yeah, something else. They're gonna start something else. Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen over that long. Bro, sometimes I talk to these like like a founder will be twenty two. Yeah. Okay. ये तू जो अभी बना रहा है इसमें मेरे को पता नहीं क्या होएगा. पर तू चार और कंपनी तो बनाने वाला है तो आप इंक्लूड कर लो मुझे तो अभी तू ले ले चेक अभी तू लाइक जस्ट याद रखना इट्स अमेजिंग राइट लाइक आई लव इट एंड इट्स नाइस टू टॉक टू लाइक सुपर यंग फाउंड आई मीन आई आई एम गोना साउंड ओल्ड नाउ बट व्हेन यू आर लाइक 2021 20, एवरी क्राइसिस फील्स लाइक वर्ल्ड एंडिंग या राइट बट व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट दिस 50 इयर्स अहेड यू लाइक ओह तो कुछ हुआ ही नहीं अभी तक तो एग्जैक्टली सो एंड आई एम देयर सिटिंग एट 35 एंड आई एम लाइक Listen, मेरे चार करियर हो चुके हैं ठीक है तो टेंशन मत ले लाइक यूल यूल बी फाइन स्टफ हैपन्स यूल मूव ऑन एंड विल बी लाइक सम स्मॉल थिंग लाइक कुछ तो लाइसेंस नहीं हुआ लाइक इल बी इल बी वन ऑफ दोज लाइक इट विल वर्क वर्क इट सेल्फ आउट इट्स नाइ अर्थ में ना हम लोग पॉडकास्ट करते थे बहुत साल पहले मार्च में तो भाई वो बात ही वो बात ही नहीं है यू नो मार्स के बियॉन्ड वॉइस जाता ही नहीं है तो ऑडियो क्वालिटी थोड़ा खराब है ना मार्स पे ऑडियो इज वेरी बैड एम्बियंस इज वेरी टफ टू रिमूव but it's it's so nice i love i love talking to founders cuz especially like second time founders yeah, yeah you told me this they've sec- already done it they're secure they're, they're chill. secure they know the they know that it's a long game life has beaten them enough for them to know that uh, you know you don't need to take everything so seriously it's yeah. fine shit work itself out they're very fun to hang out with hang out with also generally second time founders are very fun um so now I'll, i hang out with a lot of but how many companies have invested in I don't have. Come on, tell me. Come I on. I don't have. Uglo sub. Must be. I think. Okay, let me guess. It's probably between twenty-five to thirty. Twenty-five to hunge. Twenty-five to hunge. Probably. Yeah. Um, so recently, between, Tanmay also joined Cap Table at Learn App, but yeah, we never announced it. I was actually. hoping we'll go this podcast without you being like this. Okay, we'll remove it. <laughs> <fine>. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, keep it. But we never talked about it. I guess. Uh, yeah, probably. I, I don't know an exact number. That's I really like that. That means that there's no target or something. I wonder if you'll ever like manage money. That would be so interesting, man. Like Ek, if you ever I mean, start doing that. Exit ho jaye to shayad wo mauka mile. Abhi to sab jaye raha hai. Mauka to do manage karne ke liye. Kar lenge hum. Ja raha hai paisa. Ab to bas jaye raha hai. Um no I, I don't keep a track of how much I have this thing but there is an excel sheet oh nice there is an excel sheet you are of, not maintaining uh, i'm sure you are not, not maintaining. maintaining i knew it no no no, no. there's no no i have navid is my my first wife and my only love and navid <laughs> navid helps me keep track of all this but I, the angel investments are not i don't look at the angel investments as this is my not relationships i know they're relationships and it, uh, they're cool people cool stuff it'll be nice to see if it makes some money that is great if there are at least for three four unicorns in my portfolio i would love that uh, linkedin profile update kiya jaye <laughs> dude what i actually i don't i don't actively talk about companies that i angel invested I in i don't and i get i get really weirded out where some publication will find out i invested in something and then they'll go and make one like they'll make a thing saying thunderbirds investments here's a list down first of all tumko pata bhi nahi hai sare theek hai like next you want a like on his on their post that's what they want tan they that's want me to share it this. and like then here's the whole thing very proud to join these founders <laughs> and like it's i love when founders put this like our list of angels okay jiske andar to do forward button tumko teen creative jitne angels <laughs> aage uske andar i think i know you're talking about but okay <laughs> there are many all founders have here are our list of angels and i'm like at this point it's just like some of these angels are just putting money in everything also and you have this photo of you doing this i have, I have, this, this I have photo. This, some some photo i have i don't even know i think wo usme sabse patla usme lag raha tha isliye wo log le lete yeah with the best is yet to come i think what yeah, what hopefully doing, hopefully in like 6 8 months more are you meditating in all kya or no, work out you meditate i want i can't it's tough for me to empty out are my mind are you going through like acha empty is your mind working very fast nowadays are you going through any like not depression depression is very bad word but like upset phases and then really excited is that is that happening too much or is it more stable now this is the first time i'm finding like uh, i look forward to my uh, routine i'm so i really like having my routine i'm not stressed i'm very relaxed everything's going well i'm chill to fear i'm not in a hurry I'm, i don't feel like i'm on a treadmill like a metaphorical treadmill yeah i got it <laughs> Uh, I don't feel like that at all. But if that's the case, let's put you on a treadmill. I have. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> Six rapid fire questions. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, rapid fire is rapid fire. What's Tanme as a person? His unfair advantage. It's not rapid. It's not rapid at all. I thought to if you edit it, then ah, to gap ko nikal le. What is my unfair advantage? Um. that i was bullied as a child okay and why is that unfair advantage cuz it's it's just character building oh interesting yeah this is uh, what's your favorite holiday destination you know i want to know this holiday destination fuck uh, london i love london why like new york is also great misery bahut aise clouds hain no 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 uh cuz i get i i love watching broadway and west end shows mm-hmm. so when uh, i go when i when i la, the last time i went and i spent some time there i used to not have a, not have my discretionary income wasn't as high as it's now but i spent everything on watching i watched stomp i watched wicked i watched everything oh, wizard nice. of oz i watched everything uh book of mormon i love london and new york for this reason and new york's also great cuz it's like ye maine wo show mein ye wala scene dekha tha like ye picture mein ye isi building pe aake king kong ne toda tha na like that's that all is fun to watch that is cool oh this is a tough one okay what's your biggest regret non professional bataye se life mein non non work um d- didn't pick up books to read when i was a kid mm. uh didn't lose weight earlier mm. these are two these are two major regrets but yeah Nice But you didn't live. say I have no regrets I live life without regrets that's a good No answer. regrets no no of course everybody has like exactly. oh I wish I did that But regret is a strong word but yeah I wish I wish I, wish I, I did that yeah, yeah. yeah I wish I did that Why not it'd been great Oh what's your biggest fear when it comes to money I think I know What is my be that uh, Pratik will blow all of it up <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> What is my biggest fear I used to have the fear of like going broke I guess Mm-hmm. but now that i don't feel i feel like 
कुछ भी होगा ब्रोक तो नहीं होंगे अब लाइक दैट शुडंट हैपन हैंड टू माउथ नहीं होगा ब्रोक होगा तो ही पैसा कमाना सीख लूंगा यार तो फिर नहीं हुआ ना ब्रोक फिर हां मैं सीख लूंगा आई फील कॉन्फिडेंट इनफ दैट आई आई एम स्किल्ड इनफ दैट आई विल फिगर इट आउट व्हाट इज माय बिगेस्ट फियर अबाउट मनी आई नो रियल फियर आई एम फेयरली जेनरस आल्सो विद माय कैश यही है गोइंग ब्रोक ही है वो भी नहीं है अभी and finally abhi next kya hai kuch i know you making videos content hai but kuch aisa naya career changing kuch hai jo soch rahe ho ki i think i'm just focusing on health for a bit that's cool um i want to learn this uh, so the next two habits that i'm trying to build are uh no screen time that's oh. uh, like want to want to reduce my screen time as much as possible and getting an hour of writing every day because i think if you're able to write hmm. whatever what you can write whatever whatever is on your mind after a year the mental clarity that you will have and the amount you'll output people really underestimate what one hour of creative time every day can do yeah. one hour of writing it's every like day it's like a muscle right like it'll keep improving clarity will improve clarity improves life improves anxiety gone it's too gone. powerful yeah. one hour it's 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 like meditation on steroids yeah. right because not only are you getting mental clarity but there's active output so there's creative energy being put on on a on a screen or a, or a, or a paper because you also have to commit right when you write there must be structure you must commit to something you can't just be like ha ye bhi kar lenge wo bhi kar lenge it's not a conversation in the beginning you will find it difficult to write with structure because mm-hmm. you're always the problem with writing every day is you always want it to be meaningful yeah. you have to be okay with it not being meaningful eventually when your muscle becomes so strong your automatic articulation will will become structured I've also seen when you start writing you write a lot but if you do the process of elimination you actually only wrote this much of that actually had meaning truly and then being concise and like writing something tight is yeah. that's why novels tweets right i mean right dude, dude writing is rewriting yeah, yeah that is what writing yeah, is i love it editing is writing actually so just output everything on paper that's the next major habit cuz if i can crack this yeah it will affect all areas of my life i will be i will have more mental clarity my output will triple i think quadruple mm. i'll be able to do long term projects while short term projects are also going on it's i think this will be the uh, after health this will have the most compounding return on on life i think for me what's your screen time right now Is it's oh all, it's like 10 plus hours bro don't ask <laughs> brutal but i think part of it is also when i sleep i like to listen to a podcast and it just plays all night Oh nice. Like I'll click on a playlist to raat bhar sote rehta hu main to bajte rehta hu wo 4-5 ghante. And you get up in the morning episode 10. Yeah, I get up in the morning and I have Lex Friedman's voice. So when you were at Tesla and I'm like <laughs> oh shit. I'm awake. It's really bad that also I need to fix. I love it dude tan mein. Thanks man. Cheers. Like share subscribe. Check out the check out the trading series and rest of the podcast. And please please buy learn app. <laughs> buy main subscription too good. industry leaders all coming to teach aur kya kar raha interview ha next interview is with nitin i have look forward to the nitin after release bhi ho gaya hoga who knows ha ho sakta hai but check out the nitin gamat podcast that also is there